Uh, Dan Keel is in for Robert. Uh, we we actually dragged Greg Adams in this morning um, a little ahead of when he normally would come in. A and, little. Uh, <laughs> because you've been working hard on putting together lists of our top stories of 2019. This would be like our last year of this decade. Yeah. So we're trying to put together the list of the biggest stories. Which, by the way, I don't want to have the argument. I brought this up the other day. People argue like, well, the decade doesn't start until 2021. Like, oh, no, that's like, bullshit. That's, that's not how we do things. Yeah, like, maybe, maybe, you know, I, I don't know. There's, There might be some kind of linguistic argument you could make. But mm -hmm. as far as normal people are concerned, the decade starts on. So the new century started in 2001? That's, yeah. that's their argument. Right. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't have time for that. Um, I have at the top of my list of the biggest stories of the year, the election. I put them, I lump them all together. The the election of John Bell Edwards and the bond proposals failing in Shreveport. I think those are the two biggies. Well, and all, all of the local, yes. uh, we had some, some Louisiana representative seats that changed mm -hmm. and there was yes. a lot of, I mean, they were aggressive uh, campaigns there. So I think all of those stories absolutely top the list. Like they can't even be touched by some of the other stuff that's mm -hmm. on this list. Would you put the uh, murder of Shreveport police officer Shatari Payne up in the top five? Because I've got it up there for me. It yeah, it is. Um, and it it partially because it was January, right? So it was so early in the year. Uh, and and one of the other parts that I, we're so far away from it now that it's not on top of mind for people. Mm -hmm. But just as a frame of reference for it, when Shatari Payne was killed, the the t at that time, we had an interim police chief. We had a brand new mayor. We didn't know. These were two unproven variables. We, right. we weren't sure what they were going to be. This was our first uh, experience with both of these two in office. And they both stepped in and acted like adults in the room. Mm -hmm. They were both firm. They were both direct. They rose to the occasion. They yeah. rose to the occasion. Mm -hmm. And the arrests were made swiftly. And it wasn't something that... You know, there are some crimes in our city that, that take a little while. Sure. This was not that. This right. was this was taken care of immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, it was treated with the the levity that it should have been. And I think that is something that we kind of lose sight of. Yes. Because we're a very sample size, instant gratification, two day delivery society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so something that happened in January of last of, of this year. Yes. We're like our frame of reference is gone. We've already but forgotten I, about it. Yeah. I do think that is the, definitely a top five story of the year. Um, I have on my list, and Dan, I don't know if you agree with this, uh, the Trump visit and the Perkins order to police and fire to stand down. I have that I have that at number three. You agree? I don't know if you put that or the water uh, the, the water decision, the water billing decision. Yeah. I think that needs to be close to that. I don't know if we have a water decision. We're still working on it, aren't we? No, but we? The, the judge, the judge ruled. Oh, the ruling. There, there was yes. a ruling. Yes. Yeah, yeah the ruling. absolutely. Um, and, and I think that I think the ransomware attack is a lot bigger deal than a lot of people allow yeah. it to be. I was I was going to say the ransomware is probably higher on the list. Okay. Um, I think by default, the presidential visit may rise to there. I almost would separate those two stories though. Okay. Because they're two different elements to right. it. Right. Um, I think that the Perkins side of the story is probably much further down. I think there are probably bigger stories throughout sure. the year. Uh, but the fact that a U.S. president was visiting the city for a political purpose for the mm -hmm. first time in, I mean, we tried to look back. There have been presidents that have visited for uh, pol for purposes of like uh, George W. Bush coming to centenary to do a town hall meeting those mm -hmm. are, those are governing reasons right for a political rally this was the first time in a long time so i think mm -hmm. that historical context yeah that that's high up on the list lsu football has to be really up there too oh you're right uh, yeah but i i don't i mean it's not so it's not a local story but it has a local impact it does but it it's probably it will it should be on the list, but I, I don't forget, know. I forget to put LSU on the list. That's but, a really good point. But I don't know if it if it necessarily rises past some of these other things because um, it's a game. Well, it, it it is, and and it does matter to a lot of people here. But there are a lot of people that it doesn't matter to. Mm -hmm. uh, not saying that all these other stories matter to everybody, but it, like we had a postal worker murder this year. Yes. And that was a big story. Mm -hmm. And that impacted a lot of people 
for a lot of different reasons. And to me, that one is probably ahead of LSU. There's probably a few on here that yeah. uh, I, I have a couple, and I don't know if I, I don't know if I put them together. The insurance debacle with yeah. the mayor and the garbage fee. Because if we go back to the beginning of the year, that garbage fee was all we were it, talking about for a long it time. It was, but once we got past it, hindsight being twenty twenty, mm -hmm. it really wasn't ever a big deal. We pay it now and we move on. Yeah, yes. I mean, it, it, mm -hmm. it was it was a flash in the pan type thing. Like it was very intense for a little while, right. but in the grand scheme of things, yeah, short attention span it, it really wasn't a big deal. Uh, like short attention span, but also that that. Uh, uh, I want to be, I want to be enraged about something this week. Yes. So I'm going to be enraged about this. Right. But then when you get six months down the road and you realize, like, uh, mm -hmm. I guess and other people pay it, That's, not a big deal. Yeah. Like it, it was kind of weird. But one of the other ones, uh, when Firebond was having their issue, oh, Fiberbond, Fiberbond, yes. was having their issue of uh, potentially leaving the state due to the infrastructure. That was another one of those stories that was very short lived because there was a resolution to it. But in that time period when that was an issue, mm -hmm. that was white hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was tied into the election. Uh, but, again, we got a resolution to it. So yes. looking back on it, it doesn't have the same kind of intensity mm -hmm. that it did that week. But that was a big story. Yeah. We, we also forget, too, Grover Cannon was convicted yeah. this year, finally, after many, many delay after delay. Jury picked and then, nope, yeah, that jury's not going to work. Finally got a conviction in that case for the killing of Thomas LaValle. Um, let me tell you two more on my list, and we'll get Barksdale Commander yep. issuing an edict on crime in Shreveport and Ben Raymond named police chief. I think those were pretty big stories for this year, too. They were. Um, I've got a couple of other ones that are that are in my conversation. Uh, Bossier Parish Superintendent Scott Smith under federal investigation. Yes. Uh, that one was a big story, but that one also, it... it his resignation, retirement, whatever you want to call it, kind of quelled that quickly. Mm -hmm. um, the six Cato commissioners who walked out of a meeting. Yes. That was, again, one of those stories that was was very intense in the moment. Uh, but in the grand scheme, we may forget right. when we look like we're looking at today and mm -hmm. yesterday. And that's what our frame of reference is. Uh, Shreveport police officer who uh, kicked the... Uh, the oh, suspect yes. in custody. Mm -hmm. That was, again, another big one. Uh, the casino relocation conversation that came up again this year. There was a new study that said two of the casinos should leave the market. Uh, that one, uh, anytime we talk about casino relocation, it's, it's a big deal for our market. Mm -hmm. uh, the O.J. Simpson thing. Do you remember how big that was? When, when people started popping up on social media around town with O.J. Simpson taking selfies with everybody at dinner and yes. on the golf course and people started to talk about, is he moving to the area? Has he moved to the area? That was such a big story mm -hmm. for like two weeks. And then it just poof. Yes, gone. exactly. I didn't have this on my list, but I just thought about it. And the death of Antonio Childs. Yeah. Who was running and, yes. and was, uh, you know, a lot of folks will say police killed him. Which then you know? led to the repeal of Shreveport's sagging pants law. Yes. Which was, again, mm -hmm. a really big story in that moment. We Kind of like the garbage fee. Right. Like, in that moment, you're thinking to yourself, if we repeal this saggy pants law, then it's just going to be, it's, it's the death of Shreveport. And now we get further down the road and realize, well, it wasn't a big deal. Right. Garbage feed. This is going to this is going to ruin Shreveport. We get six months down the road. Yeah. Uh, it's not a big deal. We're okay. Yeah. A lot of people were talking about Councilwoman Fuller with her DWI arrest yeah. and what has or has not happened in that. That was a big story at the time as well. Absolutely. Uh, Confederate Monument. Oh yeah. Confederate Monument. Uh, another judge. Uh, a judgment with prejudice, and a ninety day clock that has elapsed now, and there's another last ditch court effort but i mean it's it's and you know better than anybody when the term with prejudice gets used in a Done. ruling over yeah so at this point we're we're kind of just uh spinning our tires on that one but that was a big one and and two that are maybe off the beaten path but these two need to be discussed if we're going to talk about an end of the year story mm -hmm. medical marijuana arriving in shreveport you're right. And, You're right. Uh, you know, it statewide, but Shreveport specifically, that was a big deal. We talked about that for a long time coming. And Mike Strain putting up a lot of roadblocks along the way and LSU fighting back. Uh, and finally, it, it gets done and, and Shreveport has a medical marijuana pharmacy. The other, the last one that I will bring up, 
the Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> and, oh, and we went nuts. That's not even to really be a joke. No. But that was causing traffic delays. Mm -hmm. That was people were taking PTO at their jobs to go get a sandwich from a fast food restaurant. In other parts of the country, people were fighting. That, there was uh, there was a shooting yeah. in yes. like Mississippi mm -hmm. or Alabama. There was like so the Popeye's chicken sandwich. We, we kind of laugh when we say it out loud, right? But in the context of the history of the year, that's that was a big story. It was a big story.